Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting tricky problem today because we have minus 4 to the x equal to 4. No huge numbers, no like cubes, 4th power, we have only x, this is, looks like exponential equation, we have minus 4, so not a huge not a huge number, but on the first side this equation is like kind of weird because we have like minus 4 to the x equal to 4, so negative number raised to the thumb power and equal to positive one. So it looks like there is no solution right here, but let's try to figure out what about the solution. Okay, first of all, if we won't have any parentheses right here, so if, if we won't have parentheses, if we don't have it, so as a result we will have like, I write it as a special case right here. So if we, if we don't have parentheses, we, we will write it as minus 4 to the x equal to 4. Okay, we have minus 4 to the x, okay, let's multiply it by minus 1, so we will have 4 to the x, equal to minus 4. And we, I don't need to write it in algebra, in, um, as algebra, I want to write, a, I want to draw a graph right here, because this is really good for geometrical interpretation right here, because we have 4 to the x exponential function right here, and minus 4, this is our constant. So as a result, we don't have like any point of intersection right here. Yeah? This is, this line even, inter, even don't intersect with this x is x, yeah? So as a result, no point of intersection. And as a result right here, we will have no, no real roots. But this was a special case, yeah? Because we have like, we, we reject this parentheses, we don't have it. But in our case, we have this parentheses. So we need to, to work with parentheses. So this is our second case and our case because we have parentheses. So minus four to the power x equal to, equal to four, yeah? And a lot of students ask me, okay, this is not like a real root right here because we have negative number raised to the thumb power equal to positive one. This is not possible. And then I want I ask them, okay, how can we prove it? And a lot of students have a little bit difficulties. How can we prove that right here we don't have any roots? Okay, if you look to this function, this function looks like a to the power y equal to equal to x yeah so this is this is our a this is our y this is our x so it looks like this function and if you know a little bit about log we can write it in a log interpretation yeah we can write it as log base of a to the power x equal to y yeah so we can write this function as in this way in log in log variant yeah and right now let's plug in these elements this constant from this one to our log as a result, we'll have a log right here, base of minus four, right here, four equal to x, yeah? So this question, this our question, we can write in this way as log. And this is really important moment right now, because in our math books, like we can easily see that we have three main points, three main steps right here. So the first one, A need to be, need to be positive, yeah? But what about A? A is our base. In our case, base is negative. So first step, as you can see, not works in our case. Second step, that our a don't need to be equal to one because base equal to one, this is not good. And right here, a equal to minus four, so not equal to one. And as a result, this step is, is good for us. And the third one, we have the third step. Third step, x need to be positive, yeah? But what about x? x is our right here number. So x is our four, in our case, this is positive one, this is our power, and this is really great. So as you can see, two steps are good, and one step is not good, yeah? But log works only when three steps works together. So we need to, to have like three good these steps, and then we can easily tell that right here we have real roots and of course log log is possible, yeah? But right here, one is not good. So as you can see, log had no way. We can we cannot write, we cannot find this log. As a result, we'll have no real roots. No real roots. So I hope you understand this explanation. And of course, if three steps good, then we have real roots. If if one is not good, maybe a equal to one, so we will have like no real no real roots. So it was a proof about real roots right here. We don't have real roots, and I hope you understand this. But what about complex roots? Maybe we'll have like complex roots because everyone knows that if we don't have like real roots, maybe we'll have complex roots. And then let's try to let's try to solve it. So the third step right here. Let's find complex complex roots. Okay, what about complex roots right here? I want to write it minus four to the x equal to equal to four, yeah? And how can we find it? We need to find our e 
And it's easy to find our e because we have minus right here. And we know that 4 times e square, yeah? So this equal to minus 1. So we go with i square to the power x equal to equal to 4, yeah? So I hope you understand this step. And right now we need to know a really good power rule because we need to raise both elements to this our x, yeah? So we raise, we will have like a to the power x right here times b to the power y and we will have like a raise to the power c. As a result, we need to multiply by this x, so a to the power x times c times b to the power y times c. Yeah, we multiplied both powers by c. So 4 to the power x times e to the power 2 times x, so 2x, equal to equal to 4. Yeah, so I hope you understand this step. And right now we have a complex element right here, i, and as a result we will find complex roots. How can we find it? Let's apply log on both sides, because when you have like powers like this, like exponent like this, it's really great to apply log on both sides. So let's go with this one. So log of this expression, so 4 to the x times i to the power 2x, equal to log log 4, yeah, equal to this expression. And right now, a lot of students ask me what we're going to do next, because we have like log and we need to know a really good log property, maybe the best log, log property, why we of course apply this log, because right here we have a log of product of two elements, so this is first element and this is our second element, so we have a product. And we need to know a really good rule, if we have a log of product, we can write it as a sum of two log, yeah? So log 4 to the x, I hope you learned this rule at school, this will be really great. So plus log i to the power 2x, yeah, equal to log log 4. Maybe this is the main difficulties in this moment when you go from this one to log and you apply this rule. And right now log, log right here, so we need to know a really good, maybe the best property in, in the whole mess, because when you have log you can easily bring this, bring this x down right here, so 2x right here, and as a result x times log 4 plus 2x times log i equal to log log 4. Yeah, so I hope you understand this step. And right now really interesting, really great case because we have like x and we have like x right here, maybe 2x, but I want to factor x because we have like x right here and x right here. So x in our parentheses will have like log 4 plus 2 log i equal to log log 4, okay? We have our x, we need to find it of course, we have our x from the beginning, this is our constant, this is our constant as well, but this is like a constant in complex number, yeah? And log 4, this is a constant, as a result we can easily find our x, how can we find it? Let's divide both sides by this long expression. Okay, what we will have? x equal to, this is our numerator, log log 4 over log 4 plus 2 log plus 2 log i. This is our answer. And as you can see, we find really great maybe complex root rate here because there is no like a huge expression. We have only log 4 and complex element log log i. Really interesting question. Of course, I want you to write your notes about it because this is not like a school problem. This is like kind of weird problem because we have like minus four, which this base is negative one. And we proved before that we, that we right here we don't have any real roots because base cannot be negative one and base cannot be equal to one right here because it, this base is not equal to one, but this base is negative, which is really bad because we have this maybe main main rule right here and this rule is not correct in our case. If 3 will be correct then we have real roots, but this is maybe the proof that right here we will have no real roots. So this is a proof and of course right here this is full solution to this, this is our our complex complex root. I hope you enjoyed this question, of course write your write your problems in a comment, maybe you have some interesting interesting ideas to, to next videos, maybe some complex problems, complex number, exponential equation with a complex number, this is, it will be really interesting to read about it. And of course thank you for your support, for your likes, for your subscribe, I really appreciate it, and thank you so much for watching, thank you for your, for your likes, and you, it's really important for me when you 
and you support my channel and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support and see you in the next videos. Have a great day and see you in the next videos.